Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Eric Oren. Good morning and a fine Tuesday to you. Here's a look at weather conditions in Bend. Currently, uh, wind out of the southwest, 14 miles an hour. Already fairly active this morning. Going to stay pretty active today and maybe calm down a little bit this evening. Uh, temperature 41 degrees and visibility is pretty good right now, 10 miles uh, in general in Bend. Uh, and today is going to be a little cooler than yesterday, but generally pretty close to seasonal averages. Here's a look at your workday forecast from Bend. High is 47 degrees uh, and winds, generally speaking, going to be fairly active today in the 10 to 15 mile an hour range, maybe even a little bit faster than that by late morning. Uh, by the time you're headed into work today, should be around 39 degrees. Uh, by lunchtime, 47 or so. And by the time you're heading home, a little cooler than that. Uh, we expect the bulk of the moisture in the forecast to be done by a little afternoon, uh, although we do expect some of that activity to stay uh, going in the uh, higher elevations in the mountains a little bit later than that. Sunset at 4.46 p.m. Uh, here's a look at the weather headlines for the day. Showers mainly early, like we just spoke about. Uh, brisk and crisp today, and that pattern is going to continue for a little while, and a cool pattern on the way. So we are expecting some seasonally average temperatures for at least the next week or so, and we should have some rainy periods coming and going, but uh, in general, that's all going to be happening pretty early today. Now here's a look at the Pacific Northwest satellite and radar. You can see this area of low pressure, and it's churning some moisture into the area. It's going to continue to work its way to the east, uh, and there's going to be a series of other pressure systems working their way into the area throughout the rest of this week, but this is a look at some of the precipitation that's on its way into the area and let's take a look at this future track uh, by around 9 a.m. you can see still quite a bit of activity caught in the mountains but also making its way here into central Oregon and then later on throughout the day around one o'clock you can see everything spread out a little bit turned into more like scattered shower type conditions and still some activity in the mountains as we get later into the afternoon but by the time we hit early Wednesday you can see we've cleared out so there's a little bit of a break in sight to some of that precipitation we've been seeing uh, winds fairly active today we're looking at gusts now, not sustained winds. So here's a look at uh, really early this morning. You can see in the mountains, we're looking at gusts of up to 45 miles an hour. So definitely not ideal for traveling those mountain passes. The rest of us here early this morning in the 10 to 20 mile an hour range. Breezy day here. And as we get closer to around one o'clock, the winds have shifted to the northwest. And we're looking at closer to a 10 to 25 mile an hour gust range. And in the mountains, we're closer to around 32. So again, staying fairly gusty uh, throughout the day. Uh, here's a look at we're getting into the early morning hours of Wednesday where things have calmed down to a slightly more moderate range but again staying fairly active uh, overnight into Wednesday so wind's gonna be a factor here now here's a viewer photo from sisters uh, that come back soon sign blew over uh, which is definitely not ideal I'm sure they're working on getting that back up soon thanks to Maya Wilson for that fun one uh, here's a look at temperatures in the state right now 30s and 40s and we have some 50 degree temperatures as well in the north and coastally uh, we are going to be closer to our averages today in terms of highs uh, 40s and 50s in the low side. Uh, let's take a look here at your seven-day forecast, give you an idea what's coming your way later on this week. Smiley's having a hard time getting into the flow of this week. He's got his coffee, but he's not thrilled with just about anything. But hey, everyone's got that right. We do see a chance for a wintry mix going into Thursday night. And of course, things should clear up a little bit by Veterans Day on Saturday. Uh, overnight lows are going to be getting just a little bit warmer as we make our way through the forecast period. That's been a look at your local alert weather forecast. I'm Eric Gorin. Now let's head back to the desk.